Hi, I'm Matthew Ahnenberg at JTEC in Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a micrometer. You got to know how to use a micrometer in the shots because you got to measure a lot of small things and you got to get really precise with a lot of these I, these pieces. Uh, specs line up real, real small and real tight. So uh, today what we're going to be measuring is a uh, one inch wrench. The simpler inch, you're just going to measure the thickness on it. Alright? So, what you do, you're going to want to line this up. You can loosen it like that and adjust. Or you could tighten it down. Doesn't make a mess. So, let's take a reading. Can you take it? Right up right in the middle. Tighten down until you hear that. Crank her over. Slide it on now. Tighten it down. And now you're going to take a reading on it. Now, we're about to find out what the reading is. Alright. Now, the reading on this wrench is 3,310,000. Sounds a little complicated to read. Yes, it is. But uh, what you gotta do is you gotta use the right, up, left motion on reading these. So first, you're gonna be reading this small number right here. These zero to three right here. Those are the tenth spot. The tenth of a micron of a meter. These are the hundredth position of Honda. And then you come back to this side right here. And that's hundred thousands. So you gotta line them all up and you gotta add them all up, break them all down. That's how you get your measurement on these micrometers. It, they're not hard once you get a, once you figure it out with them, but uh, until then they are tricky. But uh, just lining up all the numbers, reading down what you got, and writing it up. That's all it takes, right there. Thirty-three hundred. Thanks. Hope, hope that helps.